Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering CS50's lab tree sort. So as you can see here, we are given a number of sorting uh, programs, sort 1, sort 2, and sort 3. And they also mentioned here, we are given three programs, sort 1, sort 2, and sort 3. And each of these program either represent sort, uh, selection sort, bubble sort, or merge sort, right? And then we are also given multiple uh, text files. And using these text files, we have to uh, find out what each of these sorting algorithms are, sort 1, sort 2, and sort 3, right? And we can make use of um, the big O notations of various sorting algorithms and also the omega timings of each of these sorting algorithms. So if you guys um, watch the lecture and also this short, you guys would uh, realize how selection sort and bubble sort work and you guys would have noticed that uh, in the worst case scenario, if the text file is completely random, merge sort is going to be the fastest because it has a timing of n log n. And in the best case scenario, right, uh, if the text file is already sorted completely, we know that bubble sort is going to be the fastest because it has a theta of uh, n, right? So let's put these three programs to test by testing uh, each of these programs with some of the text files that we have here. So to run our program, uh, we can run it by this uh, time, then we uh, run the program, then we enter the text file that we want to test the program on. And then after that, we have to be um, storing all our answers in this text file so that we can get check 50 to uh, mark our work correctly. So we want to be running um, a certain text file, a certain text file on all of the uh, programs to see which one runs the fastest, which one runs the slowest and so on. So to test for a big O of n log n, which is merge sort, we know that if we give a random text file to each of these sorting algorithms, the fastest sorting algorithm is going to be the merge sort, right? So that's an easy test we can use. And for that, perhaps we make use of uh, reversed 50,000, right? We have a big data set so that we can be more confident with our answer. And so let's run uh, reversed 50,000 on each of these programs, right? So let's run it. We could also have used a, uh, a random 50,000, but a reverse 50,000 is even more worst case scenario. And so we can robust test our big O timings uh, even more. So 50,000.txt. Uh, okay, so let's run the sorting algorithm on reverse 50,000 first. Wow, it took a while. <laughs> Okay, so let's store our inputs here. So reversed 50,000.txt took sort one 5.756 seconds. That's a long time. All right. Um, and then so now moving on, we want to test sort two with reversed 50,000. All right. And that was so much faster, right? So we can stipulate that sort two might be uh, merge sort. So let's add the timing for sort two here. So 0 0.459. All right. And now lastly, um, sort number three. Okay. So as you can see here, even sort number three is taking a long time. So for sort number three, it took four seconds, 0, uh, 0.021. All right. So that's the first test done. And as we can see, there's a very big difference between the timing for sort two and uh, the timings for sort one and sort three. Sort two took less than one second while sort two and sort uh, while sort 3 and sort 1 took more than 4 seconds each. So we know that sort 2 is in fact merge sort because sort 2 is so much faster than the others. All right. So now that we have test for the big O notation and through this one test, we can't really differentiate between sort 1 and sort 3. Uh, so we can't really tell if um, sort 1 is selection sort or bubble sort, but we can say safely that sort 2 is merge sort. 
So now we want to be testing for um, perhaps the omega notation. As we can see here, the bubble sort has an omega of n, which is uh, fastest among all of the sorting algorithms. So how we can test that is by testing for uh, by testing the programs with a sorted text file. So in the best case scenario, we give the programs a sorted text file. It should take uh, the bubble sort program should be the fastest among all of them. So to run um, a sorted file, perhaps I'll be using a sorted 50,000 just so that we have a big data set, right? So let me run sorted 50,000 on sort one. And as we can see, sorted 50,000.txt took sort one a staggering 0 0.644 seconds. So we can kind of guess that sort one uh, might possibly be bubble sort, right? Because bubble sort has an omega of n, and in the best case scenario, it's pretty fast. And let's test sort three, right? Just for the sake of it. So sort three, sorted 50,000. And as we can see here, it's taking so much longer than sort one. And it took us a 3.574 seconds, 3.574 seconds, right? So as we can see here, sort one is definitely bubble sort, right? Because it's so much faster and we know that bubble sort has an omega of uh, n, which is the fastest when we give it a sorted uh, text file and then we know that we are only left with selection sort and we know that sort tree selection sort right so uh, that's it and now uh, how do we know perhaps I'll be writing an explanation here for sorted files sort one was the fastest in sorting them right all right, so I think that's enough. We can give them uh, the timing in the top as well. And here for merge sort, um, for reversed, for a reversed text file of 50,000 numbers, it was exponent surely faster compared to the other uh, sorting programs all right and for selection sort we can just say that the reason for choosing this is because um, it was the slowest sorting program in both a uh, reversed number text file as well as a sorted uh, text file. Hence, we can conclude that this is selection sort. Right, and you guys can give a bigger explanation. My explanation probably sucks, but um, yeah, at least we figured out uh, which program is which sorting algorithm. And before I end this video, let's do a quick check 50 to see if everything was fine. And as we can see, we passed check 50. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. And see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.